And most of the help being sent to Lancaster tonight is being dispatched from here, the Emergency Operations Center in Concord. State workers from around the state were called in tonight to man the phones and make sure the victims and first responders in Lancaster had everything they needed to get them through this crisis. Now, earlier, we spoke to an assistant director here at the EOC. We have a person that is on scene at the Lancaster Fairgrounds with the incident response team there, the police chief, the fire chief, and other local officials in response to the circus tent being blown down and people that were injured. Um, they are looking for resources such as lighting, so we found some lighting sets from a local construction company that we coordinated to get there on scene. They requested assistance with public information, so we have two public information officers that are on so again, resources from around the state being sent up to Lancaster tonight. And folks here at the EOC say they'll be around to help out for as long as they're needed. And they expect that that will be well into the night. For now, we're live in Concord. I'm Shelley Walcott, WMUR News 9. Shelley, the Red Cross has also responded to Lancaster. They are helping local departments assess the needs of about 250 people who are reported to be affected by the tent collapse.